Adobe just recently announced a new version of Premiere Pro, and this new version comes with a new feature called the Remix Tool. You've probably faced this issue where you have like a five minute video, but the song you wanna use is only like two minutes. So you either have to duplicate that song or you have to add another song as well. And so with the Remix Tool, you can either compress a existing song or you can make it longer and stretch it out. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how that's possible and show you exactly how to use it. So we're in Premiere Pro here, and I'm just gonna show you the first example when it comes to compressing. So let's just say you have like a 40 second video, uh, you wanna compress a song. Usually what you would do is you would just, you know, trim it and then just apply like a transition so it fades out, which isn't necessarily like the best option because it just like ends so abruptly even though you fade it out. Or what you might do is just cut it up, find the best sort of like places and sync it up so that it fits within this sort of video timeline. So what you can do to toggle on the remix tool is you can either right click on your audio track and click remix and then enable remix, or you can press R on your keyboard, which will lead you to the rate stretch tool and you can click on remix tool, or you can just simply hold left click and select remix tool. This option's a little bit easier because you can literally just drag the end of this clip and stretch it out to make it longer or stretch it inwards to make it more compressed. And so where you see these squiggly lines are basically where they make these artificial cuts. So they've taken like certain portions of the original audio clip and basically added it somewhere in these cuts that you see right here. And so you'll see a lot more if you choose to extend this. So let's just say our timeline looks like this and the background music obviously does not extend that long. We can go ahead and do the same thing and go to the remix tool and stretch it out. And so now if you zoom in, there's a bunch more cuts and they basically find the best placements and composition for that extended or compressed clip. And so if you click on the audio and go to essential sound, so it should be under window essential sound, you can adjust things like loudness. Uh, there's custom presets. So if, for example, if you usually make 60 second videos, you can just remix to 60 seconds. So you can turn like a two minute uh, sound and make it 60 seconds or maybe the opposite maybe you want to take a 60 second sound and turn it into 90 seconds there's also customizable options when it comes to segments and variations and so if we make there less segments there'll basically be less cuts so maybe this will be closer or even further from the original sound so you want to sort of like tweak these settings to see what sounds good and when it comes to variations this will help remix or the ai to focus on certain types of sounds so maybe you want to focus on the melodic sounds or the harmonic sounds you can choose basically how the outcome sounds like so i'm going to compare on screen right now how it sounds before and after so originally this background sound is about two minutes and nine seconds and i'm going to extend it to double that so around four minutes and i want you to comment below whether or not you hear a significant difference or can tell that it was sort of tampered with But yeah, that's basically the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out the Premiere Pro playlist in the end screen. I'll see you in the next one.